Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. We're going to recap our message from last week. Do you remember what it was? We had a big mess on the floor. And at first, I tried to just cover it up with a piece of paper. And we said that represents when we lie to try to cover up the wrong that we've done. But instead of covering it up, what should we do? We should confess our sins. Just like we swept it up and put it away, we must confess our sins and Jesus will forgive us and clean us up from our sins. So our message for today, I know we tend to use eggs quite a bit in our messages, so we have another egg. And one word to describe this egg is fragile. You know what fragile means? It means that it's very easy to break. So when you have something, an egg, or even a glass, something that's fragile, you have to be very careful with it. So when I'm holding this egg, I have to be very careful with this egg because it can easily break. If I throw it up, am I being careful? What about if I did that? Am I being careful? Or how about if I close my eyes? Am I being careful? Let's see if I can catch it. Do you think I can catch it with my eyes closed? Let's see. Oh my goodness. I wasn't being careful. And it smashed, it, it smashed all over the counter. It's broken now. I wasn't being careful. So, do you think it's possible for me to put that egg back together? Can I put it back together? No. Once it's broken, it's broken. There's no way to put that back together. And you know what that represents? It represents our words. Do you know? I'm sure we all know this. Once you say something, once, you, once it leaves your mouth, can you take it back? Can you say, oh, I didn't say that. Can you rewind time? No, you can't. Once your words leave your mouth, that's it. It's gone. And so in the same way, the Bible tells us that we have to be careful with the words that we say. We have to be very careful because do you know that the words you say can hurt other people? Just like how I broke this egg and it can no longer be put back together. Once I say something, I can no longer unsay it. So we have to be careful. James chapter 3 tells us to be careful with our words. We are to be kind with our words, gentle, loving with our words. God bless you children.